Hey, is this recording? It is. Look at that. Hey, campers. Uh, got you. Boom. Well, I've got an update on something for you. It's pretty big, pretty big. Whoop, wrong way, pretty big. Yeah, I'm going to say it's pretty big. Don't get to see my mess on the floor. There we go. We want to zoom in a little bit. That way you can't see my mess on the floor, right? Oh, oh. Yeah, we fine-tune this. It's not quite... We're on... Whatever. Do this one. Oh, okay. Anyway, enough with me playing with this thing here. It should. Oh, there we go. I finally got it. Now you can zoom in. Whoa! Look at the intensity. As we go to this video today, we have a important message. Back off, because that's kind of scaring me. Anyway, I just want to give you guys a an update as we get ready for a cruise. Look at that blurry. On October 1st, uh, something you'll probably see. I did one earlier about Friends of Dorothy. So in case you missed that, Friends of Dorothy is the LGBTQR LMNOP group uh, gay lesbian meetings. So Friends of Dorothy on your cruise planner and you're planning something to do, if you see Friends of Dorothy, then you know that's going to be probably geared more towards the uh, lesbian gay community. Maybe I'm saying that wrong. I don't know. But anyway, next one we want to go to is Friends of Bill or Friends of Bill W. Again, cruises, for whatever reason, have some code. And the code for this, Friends of Bill, so if you see... Uh, <laughs> Well, you're not going to see one, but if you see something that says get together on the promenade deck at 9 p.m. and it says uh, friends of Bill or friends of Bill W. This is going to be an AA or alcohol anonymous get together. So this is going to be alcohol free more than likely. The friends of Bill or friends of Bill W is going to be geared towards people that are recovering alcoholics and want to spend a little time with people that are also recovering alcoholics or maybe they just need a meeting while they're on the ship because there's a lot of alcohol flowing around. But anyway, this is a group that's probably going to be geared more towards not drinking. Uh, and that's Friends of Bill or Friends of Bill W. So. If you see that in the cruise planner and you're thinking, man, I'm going to get my groove on tonight, I'm going to throw back some booze, I'm going to drink, I'm going to do some shots, probably not going to the Friends of Bill meeting because they're probably going to tell you to go somewhere else. But anyway, just remember that Friends of Bill is geared towards non-drinkers. They're going to keep... Uh, that group kind of with non-drinkers. So if you want to go and learn something, I'm sure you can. It doesn't say it's exclusive, but just know there's not going to be drinking there. Uh, Friends of Dorothy, just know that's the uh, gay lesbian crowd. So if you're going there to pick up a hot date, you may have a problem. But anyway, that's it. Just a quick on, quick off, quick. I can't talk. It's Friday. I got to get out of here. I got to go get my own drink on, right? Okay. Anyway, quick thought while I was thinking about it. Again, upcoming cruise October 1st for a lot of people. So that is the Carnival Breeze. That is Cosmel and Costa Maya. Two great cruise ports in my mind. Going to have a blast especially if you're not friends of Bill. <laughs> Those are two good ports to not be friends of Bill. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for today. We'll uh, pop on here as we get closer with some more helpful hints to make your cruise a fabulous time to remember. Boom, boy. Hey, I'm going to get you out. I'm going to get where we are. Boom. <coughs> that didn't work.